PJ Tour players are set to get membership on the DP World Tour, all part of the Strategic Alliance. Now, when I first heard this, this is like, I was screaming out for this to happen. Now, there are some downsides to this. In this video, we're going to go through exactly what this means for a PGA Tour player, exactly what this means for a DP World Tour player, what a player's is going to affect, as well as what DP World Tour players have just got a golden ticket to the PGA Tour. Huge. I definitely think this is a better side of the bargain for a DP World Tour player than a PGA Tour player. But anyway, let's get into this video. And if this is your first time here on Bat9 Films, this is your home of breaking news in the golf industry. So be sure to subscribe, turn that bell. That way, whenever we have a set of breaking news, you get notified. You're the first to hear about it. When I hear about it, I create these videos to keep you informed. So let's get into exactly what this means. So the DP World Tour has introduced two new membership opportunities for PGA Tour players to enable them to play more frequently on the European base circuit. All sounds good so far. Players who finish in the positions 126 to 200 on the PGA Tour's FedEx Cup points fall list, which ends at the RSM Classic in November, will be offered membership to the DP World Tour for the 2024 campaign. So essentially every year, the top 125 players on the PGA Tour FedEx Cup points list are offered a full category and full exemption for the following season. After there, you may get some starts, but the lower down the list you get, the less likely you are to get a start on the PGA Tour. Now, this sounds great so far because if you're a player who really had a bad season, finished really low down, not potentially going to get any sponsors' invites, you now have an opportunity to go across the Atlantic and potentially play on the DP World Tour. Now, exactly how this is going to work is this. It's going to be an affiliate DP World Tour membership, and it will be available to any PGA Tour member when participating in a Race to Dubai tournament from next season. With affiliate members and non-members now appearing in a new non-member Race to Dubai points list. Now, that all sounds very complicated, but what it essentially means is sometimes when the big stars from the PGA Tour are offered a sponsored invite to go and play, for example, the BMW PGA or the Irish Open or the French Open, they are now offered a category where their money, their points, can count towards an overall list. So at the end of the season, if these players who have either taken up affiliate membership or played one-off events, play more than four events on the DP World Tour, excluding majors, their money now counts towards a qualifying card for the following season. Now, this is brilliant because what you're going to have here is certain players who will be playing in the events on the DP World Tour from a PGA Tour member's position. They play well enough in four events to secure a card on the DP World Tour. It will definitely take a little bit of stress off because you've secured playing rights somewhere for the 2025 season which sounds crazy that we're even thinking like this. Now, this all sounds rosy, like I said, but it's definitely going to affect some players because if you've created a new category on the DP World Tour, that means players who are already on the DP World Tour and below the category that is going to be made for the PGA Tour players, you're less likely to play. You're less likely to get a start, especially in the big events, right? Now, I can see why they're doing this. They're trying to make a, a world tour, I guess. And that's sort of the transition, I think, that's trying to be made here. But it's going to seriously affect some players. It's going to make it harder to secure your card on the DP World Tour if you're already a player below this new category. Now, this is exactly how that category is going to work. There's only going to be ever five PGA Tour players that can play in this event. The category is going to be open from anybody that finished 126 to 200. So five out of those 74 players in that category can play each week on the DP World Tour. Now, again, the lower you are down that list, the less likely you are to play. The higher you're up that list, the more likely you are to play. You've also got to take into account that you're going to see some players schedule their season to 
what events will they play on the PGA Tour to where the big events are on the DP World Tour and really trying to maximize their earnings on both sides of the Atlantic so they become a full exempt player on both sides too. A hard task, but it can be done. So from a PGA Tour point of view, all it's going to happen is that if you're lower down the list, <laughs> you're really going to be sorted out. And as I just stressed, there are going to be some players that are affected on a DP World Tour standpoint. And now with this, do you think this is a good move for the PGA Tour or a good move for the DP World Tour? Now, in my honest opinion, I feel like this is a better and bigger move for the DP World Tour because of this. The latest agreement follows on from one announcement last year that will see the leading 10 players on the 2023 Race to Dubai who aren't otherwise exempt, so haven't otherwise got PGA Tour status, earn PGA Tour cards for the 2024 season. These players will be ranked after the finish of the season next month. What a golden ticket that is, by the way. Now, this is why I'm saying it is a lot more of a bigger proposition for the DP World Tour. The DP World Tour are rubbing their hands together because there has never been that seamless transition to go and get your PGA Tour card. It's never happened before. You've had to earn it by getting sponsors invites, playing well, or going to tour school, playing well, like the likes of Matt Wallace has done over the last year. It's not easy. It's seriously hard. It's a big change. You've got to realize this. A lot of players have gone over there, tried to get exemption on the PGA Tour. The likes of Beef Johnson. Now, I know he got injured, but can be a little bit make or break for some players. Now, these players who have earned this golden ticket as it stands right now are Adrian Moronk, Ryan Fox, Victor Perez, Minwoo Lee, Alexander Bjork, Robert McIntyre, Rue Houston, Torbjorn Olison, Jo Slauten, and Marcel Seam. You guys have just earned, well, at this as it stands, your ticket to the PGA Tour. So can you see why I'm saying this is a better proposition for the DP World Tour and definitely elevates them? Yes, it's a nice thing for the lower down members on the PGA Tour, but really it's not going to be attracting the big guys to come over to the DP World Tour. It's definitely a better proposition for the top end of the DP World Tour to try and earn their rights. I, I mean, I guess you could look at it as you might get more American players going over playing on the DP World Tour as a route to the PJ Tour, finishing in the top 10. That could be one way you could look at it too. Now, that's all we have time for on today's breaking news story. Be sure to subscribe turn on the bell. That way I can keep you up to date with everything that's going on.